see and can you hear me? <laughs> can you see and can you hear me? I hope so. I think you can. Hello, everyone. Okay. So, as you can tell, I'm real late tonight. Real late. And I'm going to explain before we get started on all these inks. So, thank you everyone for coming on here late, but wait till I tell you I have a story for you guys tonight. Oh, do I have a story for you guys tonight. So, the Surface Ink <laughs> sale began today. And, hello my friend, so uh, it, <laughs> the Surface Ink sale started today. Um, and it's been nuts. It's been crazy. It's been awesome. Uh, you guys are getting your inks. It's fantastic. But, um, so I came home from work because I, I work on Saturdays with my mom and my sister in the store. And uh, I came home from work and I laid down for a little bit because I wanted to take a little break. And I woke up, I had dinner, and I was like, okay, let's get ready to go live. So it was like around quarter after eight. I'm so excited to go live. I have all of my goodies. I have everything to go. So I go to let the dogs out. And in our new house, we have two big French doors that go off of our dining room into onto our patio and like our balcony area. So they are, from what I understand now, and again, this is something that I didn't understand and I still don't want to have to understand, but I have to now. Um, I have a miniature pincher and a Shih Tzu. So, the miniature pincher, Brutus Monroe, is who the company is named after. And the Shih Tzu, Benson James, is who the jewelry line is named after. Um, so anyway, so I go to let the dogs out. And this door has been having issues. So it's an Anderson door. And it has Perla, or Pella, whatever the heck it's called, um, door handles. And the way that the French doors work is I've now learned, and again, things that I never thought that I would ever have to learn or ever have to know in my life, um, it's a three-point security door. So there's a pin that goes up, a pin that goes down, and a thing that goes through the door. So basically what you have to do to make it engage is you lift up the door handle, and the deadbolt goes in, you turn the little thing, and it locks the door. So, you know, I'm thinking, great. So we've been having trouble with this door. Basically, the door handle was is, had become very loose it's it's the you know, door is original to the house um again beautiful french doors but there was something wrong with the door handle is the, is the moral of the story so tonight i'm getting ready to go live i'm so excited because i love going live and hanging out with all of you i go to lift the door handle and guess what happens <laughs> the door handle broke completely off so now i'm panicking <laughs> <laughs> because the door handle is in my hand, broken off, and I can't lock the door. So I'm immediately thinking, you know, okay, so what do I do? It's nine, it's quarter after nine at this point, because I'm running around frantically trying to figure, well, it was like quarter till nine, and Lowe's closes at 10. So Rob is in New York City. Uh, right now um, until Monday. So I've been a single dad to the dogs for the past week, which of course instantly I'm like, great, now it's just me figuring this out. And I go to Lowe's and I talk to the nice gentleman in the hardware section and he has a million questions for me, literally a million. And he's like, what type of door? What, you know, what's the handle? What's the hardware? What's the this? I said, Sir, I unfortunately, I did not bring the birth certificate of the door. I have no idea what, and the man just started laughing hysterically. And he was like, well, I need, you know, some sort, of, some sort of identifying marks. He said, you're not leaving with anything today. Well, I said, I have to leave with something because the door is unlocked. Now, luckily, we live in a, you know, a really, really great neighborhood where I don't think it would be a problem. But I was like, I have to figure out how to lock this door. So he takes me over into the hardware section and I find this like random door kit that kind of looks like the door handle that we had. Um, but the door handles we have now are brass and this is silver. And I said, you know, this is not the time for me to worry about colors. <laughs> I worry about colors every day. Let me just get something that will work. So I bring it home and I'm messing around with the door handle and the door latch still will not lift. So it still isn't lifting. 
So I'm messing with it. I have the door open. It's humid as all get out in Pennsylvania. So like bugs are coming in. It's hot. The dogs are barking because they see my reflection in the door. So they think it's an intruder. And it just was one thing after another. So finally, I, you know, get the door pieces in. I, you know, lock the, or I, you know, turn the thing so the doors, the door handles lock in place. And I just tap it really, really, you know, gently. And you know that son of a door just locked right up. So it's a quick fix. Um, and by quick fix, I mean about a three hour fix. I don't think that it's completely fixed, to tell you the truth. I know that I'm still gonna have to do more research and I know there's still a lot more work ahead of me. But the moral of the story <laughs> is to never, ever, ever give up. <laughs> because I, told, I said to that door, I said, you're not gonna beat me. I said, I'll tell you right now. I said, I have overcome much larger obstacles in my life, and I will tell you right now, a French door is not going to be the thing that takes me down. So I created my own ending by piecing together what I'm now calling the robot door, because literally I had, like, it's basically, and to anyone that knows anything about doors, which I don't, the pin or the piece that goes in between the two door handles is what was broken. So after doing some research, apparently there's like a lock mechanism or something that um it is a frankendor d it's there's a mechanism inside that be, can become jumbled or the weather messes with it something messes with it <laughs> and basically that's the problem we ran into so luckily thank you luckily i was able to get it figured out and now the door is locked so the door is going to remain locked until i can get uh, Pella or Anderson or someone on the phone so that I could figure out what in the Sam heck I'm going to do to make this door work. But again, it's the only peril and the only issue really with it is that that is how we, that's how we let the dogs out. So, uh, you know, the, the dogs are, you know, they, they go out, you know, a couple times a day. And <laughs> the problem is, um, you know, we, we let them out that way. So, We'll have to, you know, how terrible first world problems. We'll have to use the front door instead of the French doors. But it just is, it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's just a pain in the butt, you know what I mean? Um, so, okay, so enough about me, enough about my door. But I wanted to tell you guys because you guys are my family. Um, you know, you are my chosen family. And I try to tell you guys everything. Uh, and I don't have a vlog channel just simply for the fact that I would tell you guys everything. And you guys would probably get more. But I had to tell you why I'm on so late. But I am so excited that 41 of you are still here with me tonight. Um, even though uh, we have, uh, we, we are so, so late. I mean, it's 11. It's, you know, three hours past what I'm normally on. But let's now start talking about why you guys are all here. So the Surface Ink sale is happening right now. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the Surface Ink sale, right now we are revamping the Surface Inks. So we are doing, uh, we're going to be changing the packaging a little bit. We're going to be doing uh, a couple of different things with it, but it's not, the ink itself is not going to change. So don't worry, the ink is staying the same. I don't want you guys to be concerned thinking that we're changing the formulation or changing anything about it. It's staying the same. We're just changing the configuration a little bit of the way it is. So because of that, all of our overstock, um, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be um, moving through. So that's why we have the, um, that's why it's 50% off. So don't worry, you know, we've received so many emails today saying, please don't eliminate the ink, please don't take the ink away. Don't worry, we're not. We're not taking the ink away. The ink isn't going anywhere. It's just, we have an overstock of it now. And when we have an overstock, why not give it to you guys for a really great price? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And tonight what we're gonna do is we're going to swatch the inks out. So would you guys like to see what the inks look like swatched out? I'm assuming that would be a yes. I don't know, hopefully. Um, and we have now um, 30 colors, if you can believe it. Well, I think it's 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, I lied. We have 34 colors. 34 colors. So, um, 
we have a lot of colors. <laughs> and this is my favorite because this is all of the colors in one set. All in one set. Um, you can't purchase them all in one set, uh, but this set was made up for me so that I knew that I had all of them. Um, oh, you bought some minis? Good. Yeah, and just so you guys know, also the... Um, also, I'm trying to find something to chop this open with. The, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, here we go. The, um, yeah, the sets are on sale too, my friends. Sets are on sale too. Uh, so that I would have a set in my studio. So I would have a set in my studio. And this is one thing you might not know about this little thing from Cricut. This is like the tool holder. Did you guys know that these are push pins? These are push pins. Yeah, the, the these are two set. These are two each, and I think it's like five fifty for the sets. Um, are some of the sets sold out? I didn't know that. I know they were being replenished all day. Five fifty for the sets, which is a steal and a deal, if you ask me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these one at a time, but I'm gonna keep them in their little thing here. Um, just because I want to make sure that they stay. And then I'm using the, um, this is from the Butterfly Sentiments set 2.0, is I'm going to use that to swatch them. But just so you guys know, if you're a member of the Stamp Club, stay tuned. Stay tuned because um, the, uh, oh, look how juicy that pad is. Oh, my lanta. Um, the, uh, what was I just saying? I was just going to tell you guys something, and now I forgot. So this is Wagon. Oh, look how saturated that color is. They are one by one. And I'm just going to dampen my microfiber cloth over here with a Bruce Monroe um, squeaky clean. Now, now, just so you know, surface inks will stain. They're going to stain your stamps. But it's not going to hurt anything, I promise. I promise you won't see any of this red on the Jurassic. And I forgot to bring home a... Um, I forgot to bring home a Brutus Monroe. Um, oh, I probably should have let that dry. Let me do a stamp off. I should have brought home a Brutus Monroe squeaky clean stamp scrubber, but I forgot. Did I say, oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, yeah, Squeaky Clean is the best. Uh, the stamp, if you're in the stamp club, you are going to be really excited about, I believe it's the stamp club for next month. I'm not sure if it's next month. I know it's coming up, though. Um, you are able, you're going to get a swatch. You'll see. It's going to be a really neat swatch. Oh, my word. Look at that green. Yeah, this stamp cleaner, you will never need another stamp cleaner, I'll tell you that much. And it smells so good. So, so good. Okay, so that is um, Jurassic. Now let's do Suede. Suede is one of my favorites. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Tamitha. It sure does. It sure does. I have been there. I have been there. But I've never swatched these out for you guys before. Oh, yeah, I'll show you how to do them. I mean, I won't be able to tonight, but I'll be able to show you at some point. Here's the suede. Um, I have not shown the stamp club for August yet, but I will be on Monday. So I'm doing a live during the day on Monday, and then I'm doing a live at night on Monday. The during the day is going to be the um, is going to be the inspiration box, and then at night. It's going to be the, um, I'm going to talk to you about the other subscription products. The other subscription products. All right, so next up is Sidewalk. Oh, Sidewalk is so, so pretty. Sidewalk is our no-line ink. I don't know if you guys are familiar with no-line ink. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So what's shipping pricing usually on the website? Um, it's all based upon weight, Nikki. It's all based upon weight. Uh-oh, I didn't clean that all the way. Oh, no. Let's see. 
Well, sidewalk normally doesn't look like that. <laughs> I, I jumped the gun and didn't clean it all the way. Sidewalk is usually a very, 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 very light, very, very light. Oh, it's because this sidewalk is contaminated. That's why. Well, great. It was contaminated. Well, this is what sidewalk normally looks like. But unfortunately, this pad was contaminated. So someone did not give me a new pad. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, it's, it was contaminated after I did that again. It's okay. No biggie. I'm not gonna, I won't stamp it above. You guys just saw the color. You saw the color, it's okay. It is okay. All right, so now we'll move on to Oz. Do you see how contaminated the pad was? My word. My goodness gracious. Okay, so here is Oz. Oz is one of my absolute favorite colors and one of your favorite colors as well, I've learned. Okay. And I'm just cleaning it. And I love the microfiber cloth just for the simple fact that obviously the microfiber cloth is going to take up all of that color. Oh, and phone book is a very pretty one as well. Yeah, ours are very, very soft. Ooh, look at that phone book. I might stamp that guy again. Because again, since I'm not using a, since I'm not using actual scrubber, there we go. I'm basically just transferring ink back onto it. I should be cleaning one way and then um, drying another way, but I'm not. So <laughs> that's the issue. All right. So next we have oh corn flour, and again, this is a really juicy pad. Really little juicy pad. Here's the corn flour. And again, they are done in the color sets, if that makes sense. So these are the, there's like a, um, it's a, the color family essentially, if that makes sense. So now we'll do rouge. Look at how pretty corn flour is, my goodness. And you'll notice that I have lots and lots of bold, bold colors, because I love bold, bold, bold. I love bold, 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 as you guys can imagine. Hold on, I'm just stamping this one off because, I mean, really, you shouldn't be stamping right after with another color. I mean, you can, but the, the ink needs a moment to set in because it's a permanent ink. So I'm, you know, really going against the grain of what I normally would do by doing it with, you know, going right after. So, can you please tell me where to go? Oh, hello, Denise. You'll just uh, click the link. Oh, there's Rouge. Actually, you know what I should be doing? Let's start over. Sorry, everyone. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I've had a rough night. I'm very fragile. I'm very fragile. I'm very fragile, you guys. <laughs> I have an idea. Instead of stamping them, let's just swatch them. Want to? Let's just swatch them. I think that's a good idea. All right, so let's just swatch them. Because as um, Heather just reminded me, that's the reason that they're in a square. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So uh, we're going to start with Wagon. Oh, look how pretty. It's just a deep, 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 beautiful red. Now, these pads are very juicy. So you're going to get true color here. Whew. It's a, that's a juicy one. Okay, now we'll do Jurassic. Well, I thank you for that. Here's Jurassic. It's gonna be hard to get the, the true, true color because it's gonna be super, super ultra saturated. But it'll dry back a little bit and you'll see here in a moment. 
So there's Jurassic, which is the deep. Actually, I should probably zoom in a little bit more. So you guys can really see the colors. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see? I hope so. Is that working? Thank you, Tabitha. It's already online, Connie. It's down on the bottom in the description. There is suede. Whew, I love suede because it's like milky and just absolutely beautiful. Okay, then we need sidewalk. There's the, the true sidewalk color. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. I get so excited every time. These inks just make me happy. Yeah, they're very, definitely unique. And then here is Oz. Oh, now you can see how pretty Oz is. And then here is phone book. Woo. And then we have cornflower. Yeah, sidewalk is a very different, very funky color. Cornflower. Then we have rouge, which rouge is a very, very pretty deep, 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 deep pink. Then we have jack-o'-lantern. Ooh, look how pretty jack-o'-lantern is. Oh, every time. These things get me every time. And then we have cabbage, which is a brighter, much brighter green. Then we have aubergine, which is another one of my favorites. Look at how pretty that purple is. Oh my goodness. And again, remember, we have the cardstocks that match. See how pretty that is with the aubergine? Because it's going to dry back a little bit, remember. Then we have locomotive, which is like our black. It's a very deep, dark grayish blue. Then we have zest, which is a beautiful, beautiful light. It's a lighter, it's lighter than the phone book. Then we have C, or actually terracotta, excuse me. Then we have terracotta, which is a beautiful deep orangish, uh, orangish brown, which again matches this terracotta once it dries back. Then we have sage, which is the new, the new, oh, look how milky that color is. Oh my goodness, every time. It gets me every time. It's like almost like opaqueish black oh it's almost like a paint oh it's so different it's so different and it's so cool okay and here's C look at how that's going on do you guys see that it's just so different it's very like chalky and luxurious and it's just I mean I never thought I would would say something is you know that it's a luxurious ink but it's just so it's so rich and then oh hold on I'm gonna have to plug in my iPad hold on let me switch my charger from my phone to my iPad, bear with me. Okay, I'm prepared tonight. I mean, after I just had to take out my utility belt to fix the door, I can do anything. Oh, isn't it? And then speckled egg, oh, speckled egg, you guys, speckled egg. If you get one color, um, they are not D, but all I'll say is stay tuned for something really cool coming from Brutus and Rowe in January. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm going to say, is wait to see something really cool come from Brutus Renault in January. That's all I'll say. But yeah, speckled egg matches, uh, It's we have speckled egg paper too. Yeah, they're very different. They're a very, very different ink. <laughs> and then here's Heather. Oh, look how pretty that color is. Oh my goodness gracious. There's Heather. Now these are our new floral. So as you can see... On the side here, and a huge shout out to Chris, who is Heather Collins' husband, for making this awesome chart for me. Um, we have winter, spring, fall, summer. Then we have pastels over here, and now we're going to work on the florals. So you can get them in, in collections as well. Okay, yeah, speckled egg is one of my favorites. So now let's go to rock candy. Look how pretty that blue is for rock candy. So, so pretty. Like, imagine rock candy, C, and speckled egg. Oh, my word. 
Okay, so now let's grab honeysuckle. So here's honeysuckle. Look how pretty that floral is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we have apricot. I get excited for the charge too. Look at how pretty apricot is. You guys, do you see how they're like very, how, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they're like, they're just very rich. Does that make sense? They're, it's just a very, very rich ink. Very rich. But the best part is, remember, they are permanent once they're dry. I, I know, that's very weird and very strange. There is Hayride. There's nothing like a fresh new ink pad. You know what I mean? Nothing quite like a fresh new ink pad. Oh, wait, let's continue this way. So let me grab Envy. And Envy is a very bright, again, very different green. Then Stargazer, which is my absolute, yes, they're very springy. Stargazer, which is my absolute favorite uh, flower. So I had to have Stargazer was one of the original colors. Then we have Lapis, which is a newer color. And look how deep and beautiful that blue is. It's much, much deeper than Cornflower, but not as deep as Locomotive. Hello in Australia. Hello from down under. Sorry, that was a terrible accent. Forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> Please forgive me. Well, we do have a midnight, we do have a midnight ink color now. So I'll show you that in just one second. We're coming up on it. Then we have macchiato. And now remember, we just got the macchiato, um, the macchiato cardstock. Um, let me see. Stargazers are my absolute favorite flowers in the whole entire world absolute favorite so this is the macchiato that matches how pretty and again remember they dry back a little bit just so you know they are going to dry back just a little bit then we just introduced not that long ago gargoyle which is a very 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 deep deep gray which the gargoyle and the locomotive are close but locomotive has more blue in it than gargoyle does then we have Marcella, which is one of my favorite colors. Although, how do you really choose, right? And then the Marcella, as you can see, just look how rich. My goodness. That's my favorite part. They're just very milky and just delicious. I mean, can you describe it? Inca's delicious? I mean, I am. And then here is, so see the Marcella paper? Look at that. Can you believe that? So, and this is what I do. I'll show you a tip in a second. I'll show you a tip in a second of what I do with the cardstock. And then we have Plum, which is a newer one as well. Look how pretty Plum is. Oh, that color. That color. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's probably hard to see, but it's a beautiful, I mean, Plum. I mean, as Plum as it gets. Yeah, very milky. Very, very cool. And they look gorgeous when you stamp them, obviously. It's just, it's hard to stamp them all. I mean, that's why I don't think you see people doing it live where they stamp them in succession because, I mean, it's really hard to clean everything off. Okay, then we have Cabana, which is also um, one of our newer colors. And look how pretty that is. It's like a turquoise, kind of. But it's it's like if Oz and Cornflower had a child, you would get Cabana. You would get Cabana. Then we have Grass Stain which is a very, very deep green because you guys asked for a very deep green. So I, I wanted to give it to you. Then we have Midnight, which of course matches the Midnight cardstock. It's gonna be really hard to see it there because obviously it's very dark here, but it matches the Midnight cardstock when you stamp it. Then we have uh, Maple, which is another beautiful brown, uh, but it's a lighter brown. And then last but certainly not least is a brand new color that you guys may not know exists. It just came out last, uh, was it last month or a month ago? Or la two months ago, which is Sugar Cone. Which is this beautiful, beautiful look at that. Every time, you guys, every time. Every time. So now I want to show you a trick that I do with my cardstock. So if you order yourself a big... Uh, order yourself, you know, the, the nice big pack of cardstock and always reserve yourself one sheet. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. Let me move some stuff out of my way here. Always reserve yourself one sheet. And I'm going to show you why. Hello, Michelle. I'm going to show you why. So I always cut it down to like four by four. 
four by four is the, the general rule of thumb for me. Okay. So I will do a four by four piece. Bear with me one moment. Yeah, they're gorgeous all together. Okay, and then what I do is I will take my hole punch and I'll punch a hole. Okay, and the reason I do this is I want to go around. So, like if I'm picking a color that I want to use together, so this is midnight. Let's do also, let's grab speckled egg. Let's do the same thing with speckled egg, shall we? And these are, this is a great little idea. Hello, Monique. A great little idea, I think. I mean, you might think it's silly, but I love this idea. So again, we'll do a three by three. Was it three by three or four by four? Four by four. Sorry, I'm not in the right frame of mind because as you know, I am a designer, not a door fixer. And that's what I was up to tonight. So we'll take another sheet. And this is how I do a lot of the designing. This is how I do a lot of the designing. So I'll take another one here. And what I do, and this makes it super simple, is I will take these little guys, which are, have church in the morning. Okay, that's fine, Nikki. So what I'll do is, so for instance, like look at how beautiful this sage is with the, um, with the stargazer, I mean stargazer, with the um, speckled egg. And then I'll look at the speckled egg. Obviously, again, this is going to dry back a bit. But look at that with the, the apricot. And then you can look at, like, the Marcella. Look how pretty that would be with the Marcella. And then I'll also take my midnight. And so look at that with the, like, you'll find colors that you don't think would normally go well together. So you can see like this speckled egg and this midnight, which obviously you can already see will work beautifully together as you're looking at them here. But like C and, um, and midnight will just be stunning together as you can see. But what's really cool about this is once you find a color, so what was the one? So sage I said would look really pretty with this. So what I would do is then I make myself what I call a memory card. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. So I would make myself a memory card. And the colors that I like the best, um, I think Sparkle Egg Outdoor look pretty with okay. Wood. Oh, yes, I, um, Speckled Egg, in my mind, you can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. So what then I do is I'll take a stamp. So hang so. Um, well, Kijo, normally I do pretty well with stuff because I feel like, you know, when you, when you own your own business, you kind of like have to figure out how to do things, even though some things you're like, I will never have to do that. Oh, yep, you will. <laughs> you just don't know when. Um, so like, I'm usually pretty good at that stuff, but not on the fly. My goodness. I was like, the door's not locking. What am I going to do? Plus I wanted to come and see you guys. What am I going to do? Okay, so we're going to stamp off once to begin with because the stamp has never been used before. So let me grab a piece of... Okay. There we go. So let me go ahead back in. Much, much better after it's been primed. Right? And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will just stamp it out look at how pretty those colors are together you guys my word okay let me clean this guy off and put it to the side and then oopsies everything's getting all wet from my my decaf coffee what did you say that you do with the new stamp um i condition it and by condition it i just put ink on it stamp it off and then go again People will tell you that you have to like rub it on your arm, you have to use an eraser, you have to use an emery board, uh, board. the moon has to be in the full second crescent circle, and Orion's belt has to be due east. You don't need all. Literally, photopolymer stamps, when they're manufactured, they still have sometimes a little coating on them um, that's left over from when they're manufactured. So uh, that coating, essentially, when you're inking it up, it's not adhering to the stamp. So when you stamp it the first time, it's not going to be a super, super fabulous stamped image because it still has that on 
uh, you know, it still has that on the stamp. So what you do is you just stamp it off and you don't have to worry about it. So look at how pretty that is, but I want to show you something really cool. So one thing you might not know about the Brutus Renault surface inks is that they are super opaque. Now, the reason I said that they're not like oxides is because they will not, um, they're not going to mix and, and do all those things because they're not reactive to water. They're permanent. So just remember that for me, they are permanent. But wait till you see, so I'm gonna use Sage, which normally if you were using a dye-based ink, what would happen when I stamp this on here? Does anybody know what would happen? Can anybody guess what would happen on this paper if it was a dye-based ink? Good job, Mom. Varden. So it would normally just sit on top of the paper. Now, do you see what happened here? So what's going to happen is it's going to start to dry a little bit. Let me try to speed up the process. Because I put a lot of ink on there. I put a lot of ink on there, but luckily I did one earlier. So you can kind of see it there, but it needs to dry. But take a look at this one that I did earlier. Look at how pretty that is on there. Look at how pretty. Yeah, and this is gonna. This is just kind of the sneak peek of the class that you guys, uh, part one of the class. I don't want to get too in depth, but this is sneak peek part one of part one of the class, because we're gonna talk about inks, we're gonna talk about how different inks work, and basically how the, the Brutus and Rose Surface inks are different. Does that make sense? I'm on your TV, Monique. Well, hello. I knew someday that I would be on, uh, on a flat screen. I didn't think that it was going to be through, uh, through YouTube. I was hoping that it wasn't on an, F, um, I'm sorry, did the email go today? Um, the emails are still going out, Ronnie. Um, so actually I didn't know that I would ever be on a flat screen TV. I thought I was hoping just to be on someone's computer screen. Um, the, the emails are still going out. Our server is overloaded right now. Um, and I will explain to you guys in the easiest way that I can explain, um, because it went over my head too. Um, like completely like way over my head of how it all works. So all of our emails go out from the same place. So the emails for like the like the surface spray email or the surface ink email went out today um and everything is hosted in the same place so what that means is when that surface ink email went out today um when it went out today we instantly had like something like 600 people that were on the website and that bogs down everything and how things get sent out so the first file that you have I believe is like about seven pages of document. Um, I love that, Monique. That is so, so cool. You have to take a picture of it um, and post it on the Brutus Renault page. I think that would be super, super cool. Um, so the uh, basically everything's bogged down right now because of the stuff that's going out and the, you know, the sale and, and things like that. So that's the big issue. But I promise you guys, you will not miss the class. And I promise you, I think it's going to be worth it every penny because we were starting to make up the boxes and i think you guys are really going to love the things that you're getting uh to play around with in the in the and for the class because remember i'm sending you materials that's part of the hundred dollars i'm sending you materials to use so you don't have to use your other materials if that makes sense so you know your materials and colors will vary but it's going to be the same products that you're all getting if that makes sense but i think you guys are really going to love the class i think you're really going to love it and I'm super excited because I get to teach you guys all over the world, as opposed to, you know, normally I'm in just one place teaching. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be cool. Uh, the class is actually, I, I believe it starts August 10th. August 10th is the, the date, but it's all, it's live, but it's also recorded. So it's recorded, meaning you can come back to it at any time, if that makes sense. You don't have to worry about not being there for it live, and you guys are the only ones that will have the link to it. If you if you sign up for the class, you'll be the only ones that have the link to it. 
Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Monique. That's so cool. Okay, so that is everything I have for you guys tonight. Just so you guys know, um, no, Heather, there are, I believe there's one spot available. It's on the website. If you look up, this is what the class document looks like. It's called Simplification of Surfaces. This is the workbook. And you guys aren't getting this actual physical workbook, but you're going to get, um, you're going to get the, uh, the pamphlet. So basically you'll get the, the PDF document of this. Uh, the class is $100. That includes materials. And it's actually, um, I don't know. If you guys want to go and try to sign up for it, I'm not sure how many spots are left. But if you want to go and try to sign up for it, you can. Um, it's called Simplification of Surfaces um, File. Thank you, Monique. Uh, you'll get the PDF file. And again, that file you keep forever. Now, the Simplification of Surfaces class is something that, oh, awesome. Uh, the Simplification of Surfaces class is something that I'm going to be teaching all over the world next year. So you guys are going to be getting the class early. It's a class that I wrote to travel all over the country and teach. But you guys will see the you guys will see the class first. So you'll be the first ones to actually take the class. Um, the simplification of services class, just so you guys know, um, is three parts. The first part we talk all about inks. We're talking about inks. We're talking about different techniques with inks, how to use inks, how inks work. Um, yes, Monique, I'm actually going to Australia next year. I'm going to the UK next year and I'm going to Germany next year. Those are just three uh, that we have planned so far. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but uh, the first part is all about inks. It's all about inks, it's all about how they work, it's all about how you use them, and all the really cool different things uh, like that. Um, Caroline, you just have to ask uh, a local store uh, to have me, and that's easy. They just contact Heather. Thanks, Monique. Uh, and, uh, you will, um, uh, I can come to, I can come anywhere really, as long as my, my calendar isn't full, I can come anywhere. Um, but anyway, so the first part is all about inks. It's explaining how inks work, uh, what the properties of our inks are, different techniques you can do with inks. Then the second part of the class is all about different surfaces. So different types of surfaces that you use with the inks. Then the third part is, is talking about the sprays. So the sprays are something that needed its own part because there's so much you can do with them. So the first part is about inks. The second part is about surfaces that you use with the inks. And then the uh, third part is all about the sprays. But don't worry, we're gonna use sprays with the inks with the surfaces. So I think you're getting like four or five or maybe even six surfaces in your box. Because um, remember, all of you are getting a box with the class. Um, the hundred dollars isn't just you know, isn't just for for me to to talk. Uh, you're getting you know some product with it so that you can use it during the class, um, as well as obviously in your workbook. There is going to be um, an area for you to do some of your work. Now you're also going to get tags. You're going to get a whole bunch of stuff in your kit. So you'll just want to make sure that when you, we start the class, which I believe is on the tenth. Again, it will all be in the email. Once you, we start the class, you just want to make sure that you have all of your materials with you. If you don't have your materials and you, you, know, you, you get the notification and you're at the grocery store, don't worry. The, the, the class is never going away. As long as you are included in that class roster, it is never going away. So you won't have to worry about, uh, you won't have to worry about not, not seeing it or missing it. Um, but again, I don't know how many spots are left in the class, but if you want to go and try to sign up for it, I think, like I said, I think that just the workbook alone is worth the price of the class because there's so much information in your workbook and so many cool things that you can do um, with the workbook because a couple of the pages in there are just workbook pages, if that makes sense. So it's just like you playing around. So I think you'll, I think you're really going to like it. And it's something that we're actually going to begin selling in our store so you can actually get the simplification of surfaces workbook only um and i'm not sure exactly what the price point is going to be on the workbook only but it's you know going to be bound so um oh you sure can monique we actually sprayed in our store we have a ladder 
that the surface sprays live on, um, the, the bulk surface sprays, and that's actually sprayed and it looks really cool. Um, really, really cool. So yeah, so the simplification of surfaces, you'll be able to buy the PDF. Um, absolutely, D, absolutely. Oh, they're not showing sold out anymore. Good, Connie. That's probably because um, our um, inventory analyst started last week and she is incredible. And she uh, was actually in later on today. So she was probably uh, doing the inventory stuff um, this evening because we just brought in, uh, we have actually two inventory analysts now. We have two inventory analysts now that are uh, making sure that all of the inventory is uh, correct. Um, D, the coasters we made in the store, oh my goodness, they're really, really cool. I think I showed you guys in the video of the store tour uh, what the coasters look like. And we use them every day in the store. We each have coasters that we use. But yeah, the coasters are really cool. They just have to be heat set. That's the only trick. That's the only trick. Okay, so I am going to head off because it is almost midnight in my world. And uh, I want to go and take a shower and relax. And um, I have some things I'm going to finish up tomorrow for... Um, some really, really cool stuff uh, that I have coming up for you guys. Uh, remember, yes, run, don't walk, because the sale ends tomorrow at midnight. Now, there will be another follow-up email that goes out tomorrow letting you guys know that the, the sale is still going on. But remember, as a subscriber, now I have to say this again, because you are not, if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, that doesn't mean you're a subscriber in the Brutus Monroe world. Although I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys are not a subscriber in the world of sales. So let me zoom out a little bit. So what that means is if you're a subscriber to Stamp Club, Inspiration Boxes, the Embossing Powder of the Month, or if you are a um, subscriber to the Mini Monroe Boxes, you automatically get the discounts now. Does that make sense to everybody? So when you sign in to BrutusMonroe.com, you must be signed in. You don't have to use coupons anymore. Now, if you have a coupon, we're working on allowing you to be able to use the coupons as well, but the coupons are going to most likely only work if there's not something in your cart that's on sale. That's the why we're having the issue. So since you're already getting a discount, the system is confused about that. Does that make sense? So since you're already getting 15% off every day, the system is getting confused by that, and it thinks that you can't use another discount. So I'm working with our developers, and I'm working with all of our different, you know, different people to try to get it so you can use coupons as well. It's just hard. It's just hard. So yeah, so your prices are already discounted. They're already discounted, so you don't have to worry um, about, you know, how that's all going to work out. Um, the new Mini Monroe box comes out each month. Um, it launches on the 1st but it generally will ship around the 15th. The 15th is when we try to get everything shipped out by. Um, it all depends. It all depends on how things come into us. Our manufacturer has been so behind on our some of our products. Um, we're trying to get as far ahead of it as we possibly can, but the problem is, but also a great problem to have, is that we're ordering so much more of the product that it's, it's, you know, it's, a, little bit, it's a little bit more difficult to get all the numbers together, but we are... We're working as hard as we can to make sure that all the subscription stuff goes out in the most efficient form possibly. Um, yes, you can buy it individually after the first. Um, uh, yeah, after the first, it's a brand new month. We're actually, um, yes, if you just joined the $5 stamp club, the next time you sign in, automatically all of your pricing will change, which is the coolest part I think about our website is that you don't ever have to have a discount code as long as you are, hello D, as long as you are a subscriber to any of our products, you will automatically get the discount. Now, it also works in reverse. So if you cancel, literally within moments of you canceling, because it's all automated, there's not someone, there used to be someone, and that someone was me, that was waiting and looking to see who um, you know, canceled and who tried to cancel right before so we could take away the discount. We don't have to do that anymore. Um, well, it might take like, it might take like 24 hours D, uh, cause you just signed up. Um, and you also might need to refresh. You might need to refresh. Um, but yeah, so it's all automated. So as soon as you leave, uh, oh, you got the class. Good, Caroline. Good, good, good. 
So, uh, awesome. I can't wait to hang out with all of you. I think it's going to be super, super, super fun if you uh, got to uh, sign up for the class. Make sure that you grab your surface inks before um, some of them sell out again. I know that we were in very, very low quantities, uh, very, very low quantities of the Hello, Tracy, my friend. Low, low quantities of the collections um, because we have separate inventory for collections and separate inventory for individuals uh, just simply because if one color runs out, we can't do the collections and you guys get it. So perfect. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of my life. You have no idea how much I appreciate every single one of you. Remember that I'm off tomorrow, so I will not be live tomorrow, but I will be live twice on Monday. So um, don't be sad that I won't be here to hang out with all of you guys tomorrow because I'll see you twice on Monday. I'll see you during the day on Monday, and then I'll see you at night on Monday because we're going to talk about the brand new Stamp Club stamp set for the month of August, and we're also going to talk about the brand new Embossing Powder of the Month. So the Embossing Powder of the Month is gorgeous this month. Some of you may have already gotten it. Have any of you gotten the Embossing Powder of the Month already? Um, I don't know if some of you have gotten it already, uh, but no problem, Angel, uh, Angel. Um, but some, most of you, if you have, um, if you get just the embossing powder of the month, you may have already gotten it. If you get other things as well, subscriber wise, it generally will go off by the 15th, but it's called Emerald City this month. And I can't wait to share it with you on Monday evening. And again, the stamp of the month, the club. We're going to talk all about that on Monday. So if you're not a member yet and you are scratching your head, wondering what it's all about, we will talk about that on Monday. But other than that, that's all I have. I want to thank you all so much again for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me so late at night. Again, if I didn't have those door issues, I would have been here sooner. But I appreciate all of you guys here being with me. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. Be good to one another. Do something creative. Maybe not tonight if it's late in your area, but if you're a late night crafter like me, stay up as long as you want or do something tomorrow. Remember to always create your own ending, and I love you all. Have a great night. Bye-bye.